yeah. Bitch, what you want? Tell me what it is. I walk in there like Jojo. I tell you, bitch, I tell you. What's up? Today we're gonna be doing speed ramps and adding a little bit of effects on this music video I shot, but we're gonna be doing it in CapCut PC. CapCut is the way now. You it's time to get hip. No more Adobe anymore. And so I'm in CapCut, and my clips are set up here. First thing is we're gonna start the speed ramping off. Now the thing is with speed ramping and music videos is I like to look at my camera movement as a priority. However, I do have the music in mind. I have the beats in mind and I'm editing to the beats. So I usually cut to the beat, but the speed ramps, I'm more concerned about the camera movement and how it, it looks more than exactly having it on beat. Cause at the end of the day, if it looks bad, you know, so this first speed ramp I did, I kind of always start my speed ramps with like a U shape. And here's the graph I did for this first one. And here's how we're looking for this one. I like the transition onto the second clip so I will keep this one the second clip speed ramp I, I was actually moving my camera backwards and kind of in different ways as he was turning his head so this one I made more of a W shape and he framed or I matched the speed ramps to when he would turn side to side and you can see right here This third speed ramp is pretty much just kind of a usual speed ramp, kind of a clip just to use. But to make it look good, I started it with kind of a U shape again, always with the U shape, and then just made it fit like this. And then I also flipped it and zoomed in and zoomed out to make it match more with the edit. Watching the edit back again, this is pretty much what we have. Nice little speed ramp stuff, but we still need some effects to kind of bring it to life and make it into a music video. So I'm gonna start with the first clip, obviously. I feel like we need in animation just to set the mood. So I'm gonna click the first clip, go to animation, put it in. And then all of these are good. But I'm gonna click on turbulence. I feel like starting with this. Bye, and it is. Now we kind of need a good animation for this little transition here, especially how it's kind of a wonky a little bit. So I'm gonna click have the first clip still selected out now and I'm gonna click on the uh, swoosh so using this I like this one because it kind of makes it look like it's going down and with this next clip it feels like you're moving more downward but obviously now we have the second clip needs some animation in for a transition to kind of look at least look smooth right so I'm gonna click on the second clip now animation make sure the in tab is Selected. I'm gonna go with turbulence again just cuz. Look at it. Ow. Now we have uh, transitions with shakes, a little bit of shakes, looking more smoothly. However, with CapCut, you can do kind of a lot of animations. If you go to the animation tab, it doesn't need to be in and out, it can be a combo as well. And these are just kind of pretty good, just presets that you can just like slap on. So I'm going to slap on the sway out, this is a little camera animation type thing get out boom if you take a look at this there's a little camera movement and now it's looking way more clean animation for the sway in and out for this one and i will add a overlay effect more of a flash later on i think right here in this first transition it needs like a shake or something just to add to it i'm gonna go to the left right here effects video fakes we'll look up shake and then this repeat shake is probably my favorite I'm just gonna drag that on top of my clips. I'm gonna trim it down, and I'm gonna start it either a little bit before the transition, as in the clip, the clip's uh, transition, maybe a little bit after. This is like this. I'm gonna bring the strength down a little bit and bring the glow down a little bit, blur down a little bit. But speed, take a look at it now. Like this, super smooth. Now I feel like this, since this, Second clip is at like the height of her song. Needs some more emphasis on this little transition. So I'm gonna go to the effects tab again. I'm gonna look up Astral. And this is kind of just a zoom effect that I used to do in a lot of my music videos. Astral. I'm gonna drag it to right where I want it, where the cursor is right now. Down a little bit right here. So now we have a repeat shake with the Astral you can see right here. It's giving out that zoom 
ghost effect. It's a little, and it will keep on repeating, but I don't want it repeating. I just want it once. Put it down. Pressing Control B. Cut the clip. Backspace the last of this. So now if you look at it, you have a shake with a little ghost effect. I'm going to move this astral to the right. It happens after. Longer. Right here. Maybe to the left a little bit. And it, it's just giving more to the uh, transition. Now watching the second clip, I feel like right here, to emphasize it more, I'm just going to add a flash because I like flashes. Flash. They have a vibration flash. They have a lot of flashes, so I'm just going to pick one. Clips. A little long. And however, but I kind of just want it right here where it domos again. So I will press Control B with my effect selected. Take a look at it. Start flashing just to give it more. Just I'm going to start it to the left a little bit. Boom, something like that. And now, really cooking. Ow. And then, now watching it again, I think I just need one more thing, maybe like a zoom into this even though i think this will higher the way i'm going to add one zoom in the beginning of this uh transition just to give it extra so i'm going to go to the effects up zoom fast zoom only in the pro version but i'm going to drag it on i'm going to cut it right before the second clip shorten it it starts now and it looks like it zooms in with the already animation in on the first clip, is it a zoom in, zoom down type? And since he's like, this is like in a stairwell, so it's like under him, so it kind of makes sense, right? Take a look at it. Like this, I'm gonna make the strength a little bit less, speed faster. So, and I'm going to write a little bit just so it's like, oh, more nice. Shorten it a little bit, and we'll have this. Do this next clip higher and then i could probably add a flash or a shake to this clip too. i'm gonna click it i can add an effect or animation if i add an animation i do it in points and i'll probably do a swoosh just because get it boom swoosh okay be a different one side slide be yeah, unfold here we go it's a bussin and then if i add the song now look at it Fire. And that's basically it on how to edit a music video in CapCut. You just have to do the whole music video now. CapCut is easier and has presets and it's busting and it's way faster than Adobe. That's it for my tutorial. More tutorials coming.